Are you tired of costly and time-consuming problems with your production Salesforce system? Then it's time to learn about Salesforce change management strategies. These ideas will help your team test, manage, communicate, document, and fix problems proactively when improving your CRM system. Whether you are creating new features, deploying new apps, or making security changes to Salesforce, these strategies will help you avoid costly and time-consuming problems in your production org. My name is Stacy and I'm from Chargent. If you're a Salesforce admin or consultant who wants to learn about payments and be a superstar for your organization, then you are in the right place. So what is change management? Change management is defined as the methods and manners in which a company describes and implements change within both its internal and external processes. This includes preparing and supporting employees, establishing the necessary steps for change, and monitoring pre and post change activities to ensure successful implementation. So developing a structured approach to change is critical to help ensure a beneficial transition while mitigating disruption. It is also important to measure success of the program by knowing that after you have improved your change management, that you see a marked improvement. When it comes to Salesforce, change management is especially important since so much of many organizations' critical operations and key features are run on Salesforce. And the capabilities of Salesforce and and related complexity are growing each year as well, from data validation and analytics to automation such as flows and process builder. The scope and number of processes touched by changes to Salesforce continues to grow. At the end of this video, we'll also discuss a few special considerations for Chargent when creating a change management strategy. So why is change management important? An effective change management plan helps an organization make smart choices. It increases productivity, decreases risks, and helps to improve the profitability of an organization. We have another resource that will help you make smarter decisions. We actually compiled them into a special checklist for you on 10 ways to make Salesforce payments safe, easy, and profitable. So check that link in the description below. So what is safe to change in production? Customizations that don't affect data are safe to create in a Salesforce production org such as developing new dashboards, reports, and email templates. However, certain customizations made directly in production can create a mess by deleting data or even worse. What is the risk of not implementing change management? The consequences of foregoing change management support when aligning your teams on changes to Salesforce can be disastrous, costing money, time, energy, and in some cases, even data loss. For example, a workflow rule could accidentally create an infinite processing loop. A change in a field's type modifies data in ways that you can't undo. A logic error in a validation rule prevents Salesforce from saving a record. Page layout changes confuse people instead of improving their experience. The safest way to customize your org is to make and test changes using a dedicated environment for development. In fact, some changes must be done in a Salesforce development environment. For example, you can't write Apex code directly into a production org. What is the Salesforce recommended change management process? Glad you asked. We have another video for you that you can find in the description of this video. Chargent recommends the following best practices specific to some challenges we have seen in supporting our customers with Salesforce payments. When creating automation that touches Chargent objects, make sure to add a small delay on the action so it won't get caught in the order of execution and conflict with our process while transactions are being processed. When you're using the change set development model, it's important to track every change, especially changes that require manual migration. When you manually migrate a change, you take modifications from one environment and recreate them exactly in another environment. You have to manually migrate a change if the change component isn't supported in the metadata API yet. Validate the inbound change set with this dry run of the deployment, showing the success or failure messages that occur with an actual deployment, but not performing the actual work. If you're planning a scheduled deployment and want to determine if the deployment can succeed in the time allotted, validate your change set. It makes things much more predictable. This video is part of our collection on Salesforce testing and sandboxes. To learn more about making your Salesforce rock solid, check out our next video, where I walk you through how to use sandboxes to complete testing as part of your change management and QA process. 
My name is Stacy, and at Chargent, we're dedicated to helping Salesforce customers like you keep your payments simple. And remember, we're always here to help.